start off Broadway and then go to Broadway. Yeah. When you open yeah. on Broadway, the stakes are just right. I just heard, you know, um, Godspell Friday is the the anniversary of Godspell on off Broadway. See, and we all know where that went. That went through the roof. I think if I ever want to go on Broadway, I want to go on off Broadway first. A long time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. You're Rent. So right. It just. Yeah. I, yes. I, it breaks my heart when I see these shows close in five days. Yeah. Yeah. The Harlem Globetrotters were on Gilligan's Island on this day. I, I don't remember that episode. Do no, you? I, I don't either. But but you know what? Gilligan's Island. We're all on that island. I love. Who would you be? We're at a tiki bar. Right yeah, now. we are in a tiki bar. We are permanently ruin who is always in Gilligan's Island. Who would you want to be with or be on Gilligan's Island? Oh, Gilligan. Gilligan. What about you? I don't know. I kind of. I think I'd like to be, um, you know, Ginger and Marianne mixed together. But I love Mrs. Howell. I really, I really, I love this town. I like all of them, actually. You know, but Gilligan would be fun to get in trouble with, right? No, He'd be good to get in. Yeah, Gilligan would be the best to get on, a, go on an adventure with, because he would do anything. I know. George Harrison. And then you're on the island. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but Ginger had the best outfits, I think. Yeah. George Harrison released all those years ago on this day. I remember wow. that. And now this I found interesting. The Madison Hotel in Boston was destroyed by implosion. Now what is that? Boston is, this is not the first bad thing. They've had other bad things. I know. I don't know. Oh, I, it doesn't say the big T. So um, maybe it was just an accident, but it was a mess. Today, the assassination attempt on Governor George Wallace of Alabama, which left him paralyzed by Arthur wow. Grammer in Laurel, Maryland. I kind of vaguely remember that. I do remember that very well. Yeah. yeah. Hard job. See, you were God. like having a different life during that period than I was. I was like, you know, I was so. Ah. So you remember? Is that Yeah, why? I remember. Oh, you remember like that year? Like you were sober that year? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hard Job Being God opens at the Edison Theater in New York City for six performances. See what I mean? Those things just stun what, me. What's Hard Job Being God? Good, Good question. No but idea. then on this same same date, the Beatles' last LP, Let It Be, was released on this day, and we all know how that did. They didn't have to worry. They, they could have opened on Broadway. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Why didn't they open on Broadway, silly Beatles? Right? Yeah. Uh, what else happened? Um, Wonder Wall with George Harrison premiered at the Cannes Film Festival. Now, I wonder if that's how Oasis named their song Wonder Wall, because yeah. I, 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 I bet it is. That. Yeah, I bet yeah, it is, yeah, because yeah. Um, I'm sure they love George Harrison. Yeah. Paul McCartney and John Lennon appear on Johnny Carson's like show. Oh, the Beatles here? Or the Beatles are on every day. They're on There's every always day. something Beatles. Really? Yeah. They did something every single day. Well, right. yeah. They did. It. They're always historical. Like every every, every day, single day. There's yeah, always something, something Beatles. 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 Yeah. Or okay. I would say at least eight out of ten. Okay. Okay. And here's a huge one. Paul and John appear on Johnny Carson show to promote Apple Records. Whoa. Joe Gar. Garagiola is the substitute host. Ha ha, they didn't get Johnny Carson. Whoa. That's, that's, that's that was a Johnny's like major like. I love that. Johnny yeah, Carson. Yeah, He's my ultimate. Peter, Paul, and Mary win their first Grammy if I had a hammer on this day. And Paul McCartney met his future wife Whoa, this Linda is back to Eastman. The it's like back I know. To the Paul and Linda there. met on this day. Look at that. And now he's on wife number three. Whoa. I know. I know. Oh, Linda, I hope you're happy up there. 18,000 people at Madison Square Garden for Billy Graham as he launches his crusade. Would you ever go to that? No. He's like a, an evangelist, but is he a cult leader, Billy Graham? Um, Would you call him a cult? Evangelist? Yeah, evangelist. Yeah. Sounds like They're cults, sound, aren't they? Sound of cultish, yeah. It, it, cult. I'd say cult. Not quite on Jim Jones's level, but still there. Okay, but good for you. 18,000 people seem to have liked him. But they didn't go to Kiana. No, they didn't. The first nylon stocking sold in the U.S. was on this day. Nylon 
That was life changing. Whoa, that was life changing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Department of Justice offered twenty-five thousand dollar reward for Dillinger, dead or alive. See, I like that. That's not the people thing. Yeah, That's no. Dillinger. It's, yeah, Dillinger. Exactly. Did anyone get that money? Uh, I think it should be in your box. Oh, it should be, right? Oh, thank you. Yes, our box of donations. Mickey Mouse made his first appearance on this day in history, May 15th. Whoa, that's so, incredible. Welcome to the world, Mickey Mouse. Uh, that's a, that, no, of all the things we've talked about, that's probably the most life-changing, don't you think? Oh, probably huge, yeah, yeah, giant, yeah, but this yeah. is life-changing, too. Las Vegas, Nevada was founded on this day. Oh, I have no idea. I guess... What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas, but but we do know that it was founded on this day. Also, Mary Queen of Scott married James Hepburn on this day. But many many centuries ago, right? Uh, Fifteen sixty-seven. Okay. Yep. The first baseball enclosure opened on this day. You, can you? Does anyone know where it was? Yeah. The Union Grounds in Brooklyn was oh, the oh, first oh. baseball enclosure. Good old Brooklyn. Yep, and Anne Boleyn and Lord Rochford, they lost their heads. They were accused of adultery and incest on this day. Ew. So, do, so did they lose their heads, or was that later? I guess they did. Um, that's kind of interesting. Was it was the adultery and incest with each other? Like, I guess it was. Wasn't she married to Henry VIII? Yes, yeah, she was. And she, she was. Yes. Yeah, so she's a beheaded wife. Yeah. Oh. Oh, poor Anne Boleyn. She was probably so unhappy with him that she had to sleep with her brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Birthdays today. Zara and Elizabeth Phillips, who is the daughter of Princess Anne's birthday is today. Chrissy Taylor, the model sister of supermodel Nikki Taylor. Wow. What's, which one of those Taylors, didn't one of them die from um, an inhaler or something? I think one of them did. Do you remember Chrissy and Nikki Taylor? I do, I do, but I didn't know the, the one of them was today. And I didn't one of them. An inhaler day today. I, it's not. One's Ray Lewis, the linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. I actually know who he is only because of this year, because the Ravens won the Super Bowl. Victory, uh, spelling. Yeah. Her birthday is today. Good old Tori Spelling. Happy birthday. <laughs> Emmett Smith's birthday is today. More football. Brian Eno's birthday is today. Yes. Um, Lenny Welch. Do you know who that is? He's from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Do you know what song he wrote, Ainsworth? Breaking Up is Hard to Do. Oh, oh wow. Giant hit. Yeah, no, Giant hit. Yeah. Happy birthday. Trini Lopez. It, it's interesting. Trini Lopez wrote If I Had a Hammer. And it's Trini Lopez's birthday today. And ironically enough, if you recall, this is the same day that Peter, Paul, and Mary won the Grammy for If I Had a Hammer on the author's birthday. Whoa. How cool is that? That's, that is just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that to me, that's yeah, like a bullseye. Yeah. Madeline Albright, we all know her name from uh, Washington, D.C., right? It's her birthday today. And Anna Maria Alberghetti. Oh, I oh, always yeah. remember yeah. her name, yeah. right? Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, Anna Maria Alberghetti. Happy, happy birthday. And yeah. angels in the room. We always celebrate people passing on this day. The biggest angel, it's pretty interesting, Jerry Falwell. He is an angel on the same day as, um, what's his name? <laughs> what's the other guy, the other evangelist? Oh, your angel? Oops. Billy Graham, the day he was in Madison Square Garden, Jerry Falwell passed away. June Carter Cash is an angel with us today. Oh, we feel so lucky. And um, Jackie Curtis. Um, does anyone know Jackie Curtis, the actor? He was in Underground USA. I always have to say these. He died of a drug overdose at age 38. Wow. You are with us today, Jackie Curtis. And Emily Dickinson, the, the poet who was not in any movie. No, she wasn't, but she wrote a lot of poetry. published a lot of yeah, a yeah. lot of books, and um, she's an angel with us today. Yeah. And and now we're gonna get rolling and have some guests visit us. You ready for some guests? I love that. Holly Frost. We will be right back on May fifteenth. So now you come. Sam, I get so strong when you. 